Hey, what's the word? I'm gonna barber the hell out of your hair. Catch you later. Maybe. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. Oh, please be careful. You're alive! I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families, but we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. Yeah, see you. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! you. Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed, but then I found out it was all to protect a lie. I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives! I heard we sent a couple of scouts outside long ago. Maybe the suit was theirs. The vault was open for a while, but for some reason they closed it off when we were babies and everyone swore to deny it had ever happened. But then Jonas died, and they're keeping us locked in here, all to protect that fantasy of remaining untainted by the outside world. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs. And he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold, metal pincers? You don't want to! Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon the vault. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside. Trading, exploring, anything's better than just hiding down here. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him. 
All right? I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. I hope you're making progress with my father. I can't imagine anyone else who would convince him we should venture outside. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. Damn it! This is no time for joking around! Be careful. Hey, good to see you again. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly. But I'll be ready for it. The Overseer thinks he's in charge of us just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that! We do what we want, and we want to open the vault! Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. Bye. Wow, you're back. I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the Overseer, but we still love the Vault. We just want to try going outside, too. Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out. I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do to your dad, either. Bye. Good to see you. Hello. It's good to see you again. Wow, you're back. Serve you, Master. Ah, another patient. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? Ah, human problems for human hearts. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. Ah, oh, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate. The leg. Yeah, I am sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Um, actually, uh, no. Uh, I'm afraid I've been, uh... What's the human term? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, fired. I've been reassigned to cleaning detail. My first duty is, somewhat ironically, cleaning the clinic. Ah, oh, but surgery was fun while it lasted. change the Overseer's mind. You've got to change the Overseer's mind.
You've got to change the overseer's mind. You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Watch out! Why won't you just leave us alone? I don't know that I should be talking with you. I don't know that I should be...
It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad. But I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Watch yourself down here. You don't belong. I really shouldn't be seen talking with you, you know. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Amada's up there, in the clinic, with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Hey, what's the word? I hope you're making progress with my father. Wow, you're back. 
Good. You made it. Looks like I made it for another day for what that's worth. You're back again? Can't you just leave us alone? Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Hey. You don't belong here anymore. Cut it out! You know enough to stay.
Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. That would be where you're wrong, young man. By locking down this vault, I'm protecting its future. In fact, I was protecting its future when I had to make those unpleasant choices the night you and your father abandoned us. I only wish I could have stopped your father before he left. If anyone's to blame for the unpleasantness, it's him. Spoken like someone who's never had to make difficult decisions. Like someone who's never had to lead. Jonas was leaving with your father. Their departure would lead to others leaving as well. And before you know it, half of the vault would be gone. And then, our home, the last safe, pure bastion of humanity, would be reduced to a lonely handful of aging holdouts, too few to continue. I'm afraid you're the short-sighted one here. I'm simply keeping them safe and untouched by the war above. The real danger are the rebels and insurgents who insist on risking all of our lives just to die out there in the wastes. If they weren't trying to throw our lives away like that, we could go back to the peaceful life we once had. Everyone would be happy again. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? I admit, in the two hundred years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My God, you're right. We won't last another hundred years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. What do you want? Start something, I dare you. Why don't you look where you're going? Can't you just leave us alone?
I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Hey, good to see you again. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. You're alive! Bye. Good to see you. What do you want? Yes, you do. It's good to see you again. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I know you are, and on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you, to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. It's a shame you gotta go. But you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Good riddance. Get out. Get out!
I hope things are going. Good morning, sir. <laughs> gotcha. Three dog here. How's everyone doing? Everyone ready for the Capital Wasteland's latest news? Me neither. But it's that time again. Don't lose hope, children. Don't ever lose. Smell the stink of goo. Welcome back. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She's our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Glad to be of help. Ex- Very well. Cut. Move along, outsider. Brotherhood is at your service. What do you need, civilian?
I'm surprised. I will serve the Citadel and Elder Lions until my dying breath. Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. He knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well. We'll sort this all out. Hale. Hey, let me ask you something. Hale. What is it? What's your tactical assessment of this new... Hi. I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Situation. I need to collect my wits have you seen and figure out what to do next. Power armor? That's the advanced me. mark too. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake. But a mistake I'm proud of, nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. Only in a very broad sense, the Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress, but not necessarily every human. The outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places Consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. Even now, a year after they left, the wounds of their departure are still sore. Some of my soldiers are angry about it. They see it as an insult to me. Bless them for their loyalty. They're more angry about it than I ever was. Others understand their decision. Sometimes I hear them wondering if they should have gone with them. I can't blame them, but I stand by my decision, and I respect theirs. Has it been worth the cost in lives and resources to protect people like you from the super mutants? You tell me. I suspect my daughter's squad helped save your life, and most of our recent recruits have come from those we've saved over the years. It's cost us, but we've saved many lives, and made the Capital Wasteland a place where people can live. Yes, I'd say that's been worth it. Yes, let's speak of other things. More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy. 
all in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast, and exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. So be it. What more did you want to know? Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins, and now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Hail. I don't know if a standard round can eat. You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our Keeper of the Scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. She spends most of her time in the Archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up, in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow, if... My father permits it. You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. In my father's name, I bid you farewell. Then penetrate that stuff. Yeah? And I have work to do. So you're saying... Uh, I don't think that Paladin Gunny would be very happy if he saw me talking to an outsider. Out. 
Hail. Right now. Wanna join? Good, cause you got no choice. Our first masterpiece is called The Wasteland Survival Guide. Written by Megaton's own. You are Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear, these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. With the threat of the Enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. So I've got a lot of work to do. Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here! Try fighting someone who shoots back, fucking cowards! Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. If you'll excuse me, I need to go show these fish how to shoot straight. Long live Elder Lions. Hail. Hail. You honor us with your presence here. What aid can I offer you, outsider? What's been going on? Well, let's see. For years, we've been draining our resources defending the ungrateful residents of this no-man's land. Most of my best friends have either been ripped apart by super mutants or left to join the outcasts. And now an enemy we faced more than 30 years ago has resurfaced, and their tech is still better than ours. What's been going on with you? I really don't want to go into it. Go bug scribe Bowditch. He could talk a dog off a meat truck. I can help with that. What do you need? You are currently an A-ring. Here you will find the Great Hall, the Lion's Den, and the Archives. Beyond this area is B-ring, quarters for the Knights, Scribes, and Elder Lions. Outside in the Bailey are the training areas and access to the Initiate's Barracks. Other than that, down those steps is the lab. Be careful around there, the Scribes are touchy about who goes near their toys. You could say that. We have an old Robodoc. He's a bit creepy, but he does the job. You'll find him in B-Ring. Well, any one of us would see Night Captain Durga down in the lab, but since you're an outsider, you'll need permission from Elder Lions. Very well. As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Their weapons are better. Their power armor is better. Is their training better? We'll see. You know how many uglies I've killed? More than all of Lion's pride combined. That's how many. All it takes is a loaded weapon and the will to use it. Oh, and a good way to get ugly blood out of your armor. Little bit of a Braxo and some water. Works like a charm. What do you need to find? Certainly. Of course. You honor us with your presence here. You... Glad to see you and that egghead Lee made it here in one piece. I heard what happened to that purifier. Hell of a thing. Man, I don't know. Fighting uglies is one thing, but we've never gone up against anyone that well trained or organized. Even their tech is better. Don't get me wrong, the pride's in it to win it. And I'll go down shooting if I have to. I just hope I don't have to. Man, nothing dies like an ugly. I once saw Colvin snipe the leg off one at 200 yards. Thing pirouetted like a figure skater. You, my friend, are talking about the most elite fighting force ever assembled within the Brotherhood of Steel. Each of us was handpicked by Sentinel Lions herself. 
You can't even realize what an honor that is. Sarah defines combat excellence. Me? Heavy weapons, mini guns, missile launchers. If it's bigger than a human and goes boom, I'm all over it. Back to it. What do you need? What was the result of the latest scan? Enclave strength is at 100%. They're getting reinforcements from somewhere, but we still haven't determined the location of their headquarters. Very well. Thank you for the update. Need something, friend? Does this sound noble enough? Quail before me, foul super mutant. Thy end is at hand. Yield that I may ease. Hey, 